want to know is secret. Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to cut a t-shirt into a tank top like this. It's perfect for working out and it's got a fun little side and this is what the back looks like. I'm going to be cutting this shirt into a racer back tank today uh, so I can work out in it tomorrow. So what I did is uh, for the sake of time I've already traced out the racer back design that I wanted using a shirt. So this, I really like the shape of the shirt already as it is, so I use this kind of as a guideline um, as to how far I wanted to go in and how deep I wanted to go down. So for starters, you can start off by cutting the sleeves off first so you have some room to work with, and you might want to use good scissors. You're not going to need these anyway. I wanted as much wording as possible, so the way I'm going to cut this, and you can also cut the color off. I'm going to do it now. And you can also cut the bottom off, but I'll do that later. So the way I'm going to cut this, I wanted to keep as much wording as possible. I'm going to be cutting here from the top of the shoulder to under the armpit, from here to from top of the shoulder to under the armpit. Make sure you're only cutting through the back side, because the front side is going to look different. Back. that I'm gonna make it kind of fancy on the sides. So what I'm doing I'm pinning slits on the side. Uh, they're probably about half inch apart, about length, one inch in length. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna create what they call ladders on the side. I'll show you how we're gonna do that in a second. It'll basically create holes on the side and create a little pattern. And I like that because there's a little bit of breathing room inside the t-shirt, inside the tank. And while it's laying flat, I'll just go ahead and do the other side. The cool thing about making your own t-shirts is cutting them in the tank. You can always try them on and cut more. It's always better to cut less. You can always cut more off, but you can't put it back on. That's why I kept the length pretty long. I can adjust it later. Okay, so now that's done, I'm going to flip it on its side so I have all the slits facing me. And here's what we're going to do. You take the bot, the second one, you flip it over the second one. I mean the top one. Take that. Hold on. What we're doing is you're pulling the the second one underneath. You're pulling it over. So you take the new one and then you thread it through the hole. So you get a pattern like this. So I didn't cut my slits very long, so the hole in between is kind of small. Uh, see, if I wanted to go back, I can undo all this and cut the slits a little bit larger, so that way the hole on this, or the pattern on the side 
has a bigger hole. So again, got this, take the new strap, put it underneath, and pull it down. Underneath, pull it down. This strap underneath, pull it down. This strap underneath, pull it down. And so on and so forth. Until you get to the end. So this is what the side of the shirt looks like. Now when you get to the end, you cut it in half and you tie each side. Just like you're tying a shoe, you just tie it in a knot. I may go back and wipe these. Like so. And then you have your shirt. You do it to the other side, and you've got yourself a nice little workout shirt. Pink. Right.